is it worth your time to try and figure out the algorithm that's changing every week and trying to build your following? Or do you want to hire that out and have somebody else who knows and does that for their own business and they can do it much easier than you could do yourself? Vanessa Phillips, how's it going? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. It's great to finally kind of meet you. Like we've met yes. over social media, but this is the first time we've had a live conversation. Right. Good to see your beautiful face. So that's nice to finally get to meet you. And I was in your neck of the woods, but you were in Las Vegas. So we didn't get to in meet Vegas. in person. It sounds like and a it tough snowed life. when I was in Vegas. So Did it really? Yeah, it did. You know, I don't want to hear it because like in your town where I was, while you were in Vegas getting snowed on, it was negative yeah. four degrees with the actual air temperature. I'm like, okay. I've been in Minnesota when it was close to that, but that was the actual coldest and it was blowing. So it was like right. negative 35 wind chill. Yeah. Nuts. Yeah. So when the people of Vegas were videoing the snow, my family thought that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They have no idea, right? You show some hardy no individuals, clue. but I'll tell yeah. you what we went to, it was like the perfect Montana experience. Cause I've been out there plenty of times in the summer. I've been to Red Lodge, which is close to Billings where you live. Yes. I've done the, you know, the, Oh shoot, what's the Beartooth Pass Road and yes. all these beautiful, it's such a beautiful area, but I hadn't been there in the winter. Well, I went to Yellowstone once and did a snowmobile in the winter, but I'd never been to Billings in the winter. And I, from what I understand, it also gets like really hot in the summer. So it's yeah. like, it can be like a hundred degrees in the summer, absolutely freezing in the winter. But I felt like I got the real Montana experience because we went yes. to some steakhouse and it's like, you know, terrible weather to get there. And I come in and it's freezing. And then there's like a fire in the fireplace and it's like Montana knows it's meat. And I was like, this is probably yeah. the best meal I've ever had with all that, like combined yeah. and all, all the guys from the club where you work out. So anyway, awesome. I loved it and I'm sure I'll be back and hopefully we'll Good. meet in person at some point. Yes. <laughs> um, but for those of you guys that don't know Vanessa, she, um, do a lot of things. So instead of me doing you a disservice, just tell us <laughs> who you are, what you do, and then we can get into more what you do with Alloy. Okay, cool. Well, I am a Montana girl born and raised. Um, I have six siblings and two super hardworking parents. And I think that's where I got my work ethic. And um, so I went to Montana Tech, just like Paul did. And I was one of their like seven accounting majors because it's an engineering school. <laughs> and that's Good where I you. met my Good husband. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, and then we just, we placed our roots in Billings and um, I was an accountant until I had my babies and I have three kids. And um, then I became a photographer, you know, such it a weird out transition, a like accounting, great accounting doesn't seem like a creative photographer. Like, mix. So how did you get into photography? Yeah. My babies. I started okay. as a mom tog, um, took pictures of my babies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And just the need to continue to learn and grow and do something for myself. I started taking a lot of classes and got better and better and people started wanting me to shoot for them. And so it slowly built from there. Um, and I emphasize slowly because I took on what I could while still raising my kids and, you know, creating our home. And now my youngest is six. I have three kids, 12, nine, and six, and they're all in school. So I can start growing and taking on more things. So good for you. And that's kind of where I, once my kids started school, I was like, okay, I'm focusing on me. And I started going to Alloy over a year ago. And that's kind of how yeah. that started organically. So yeah, yeah, so how did you go for, so you join Alloy Billings as a client, right? Uh, yeah. They have a great culture there and like, you know, just a little bit of, I know of you already, like I'm sure it's a perfect fit. So like, it's funny yes. how the, the culture of the club that like the coaches and the ownership sets, it, you attract like people. And I can Absolutely. always tell how strong a fitness business is by how like good their customers are. Yes. And when I met all the customers, many of them, I'm sure who, you know, I was like, these are the coolest people. And I'm like, well, duh, That's because awesome. the ownership's great. Paul's awesome. The trainers are awesome. It's like, of course you're going to have great customers, right? Cause like yes. people tend to cluster together. So you join as a client and then how did you, cause you know, again, we're talking about what you do next, which is you do, I guess it's a 
bad way. You could probably rephrase this better, but you do their social media for lack of better yes. terms. Yeah. But how did you, how did you get into that? Did they approach you? Did you approach them? How did that come about? It was nice because it happened organically. I got to know the business and that's, I guess that's the business side of my background. I can, I'm always thinking about how you can make your business better and what we could do. And I just in conversation said, Hey, I'm a photographer. Like I can bring my camera in and take some good shots for you guys because I know for me, when I am thinking of buying into something, a brand, whatever it may be, I go to their Instagram page and I scroll through and I'm like, okay, what do the trainers look like? You know, what are their core values? Things like that. And I saw a need for that and I just offered up my help and they were down for it. And that's just how it started working. And so it's kind of a fun blend of my business background with my photography. And with photography, I grow my business through social media and word of mouth. And that could go for any business, honestly. So um, I've learned the algorithm. I've learned how to use, you know, different uh, programs to make really great quality content that people want to see. And so it really exploded from there. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. So it's, you approached them and it was funny immediately. I don't want to sure like the date, but like all of a sudden, I think everyone in our system, because anybody that is listening, you know, we have like nearly a hundred sold, we've got 36 you know, units in construction. So we have a lot of people coming online here in the next few months. And I think even the ones we have, so 15 clubs open, everyone's saying like, Hey, you know, you know, again, not knowing maybe as much about social media as some of our investors don't, of course, you know, cause it's a whole nother skill right. set or like, Hey, you know, what are you doing for billings? And I'm like, I'm not doing that. Like that's like, we're going to provide you some raw content, but you've got to post on your own and you've got to take pictures, you know, in your local market, it needs to feel like the neighborhood gym. And the way to do that is to show your members right. doing things in your alloy location. And I said, so we're not doing that. Like, I'll reach out to Billings and find out. And I think I had just pinged you at one point on social media. And you were like, hey, I'm doing all their posting. I was like, oh, that's been the big change, right? Mm-hmm. So it was noticeable immediately when you started doing that. Um, so what is it that you do for alloy billing specifically? Like what's the frequency? Is it, I know you do reels, right. And they're, those right. give you the best engagement. They look cool, but like, what's the actual, like, this is what I provide to you. Is that, if that makes sense. Right. So once every quarter or so I bring in my professional camera and just get some updated pictures. And that's been amazing because since I've been there since almost the beginning, I have seen so many people grow and change mentally and physically. So it's fun to see those first pictures I've taken and then go back and take new ones. And it's like a whole new person there working Mm -hmm. out. Um, So I take professional pictures for them, but I also take cell phone pictures and I just take good quality cell phone video And then the trainers there also know to take video and pictures and I've had them set their cameras up so that it's taking the best quality possible. Um, Clean your lens off, make sure what you are taking looks nice, both through the camera, but also that they're doing the proper exercises and, you know, their outfits look decent and things like that. Um, Not a lot of movement, you know, you just want to put out quality content, not only the template, but the actual videos and photos too. So I take those when I'm working out and then the trainers also do it. And then they just send me the content and then I, I plug it into my programs and I create stuff. And then for the billings location, um, their manager, Paul, will I'll send it to him and he'll either post with a caption if he has something specific he wants to talk about. Otherwise, I do it myself. And I also keep a running list of hashtags and I update those as needed. And there's a mix of local hashtags and more broad general hashtags. It's kind of important to have a range of all of those. And geotagging, which is tagging your location. And I do that because Billings is relatively small. I just do Billings, Montana. 
And that way, anybody who looks up that specific location has the potential to see our content as well. So with the other sites, I do that same thing for, say, the Charlotte location, which I'm doing the social for them too. I've done research on their hashtags and I've made a list in my notes. So then when I post for them, I just pull those out of my notes and paste them right into the right into the caption and that way, because those are searchable fields. Yeah. And I noticed like immediately I saw a few posts from them. I was like, wow, these are really good. And then I think I pinged you to get on the podcast and you're like, Hey, I'm already working with Charlotte. Cause we hadn't even announced it yet. Yeah. Um, right. That you were going to be a vendor, which I'm, we haven't announced it yet either on this podcast, but by the way, Vanessa's a vendor for alloy, but um, <laughs> yeah. Hey, oh, <laughs> but it, I had noticed immediately. And then of course I talked to somebody, I'm like, wow, you know, Charlotte's stepping it up. And they're like, Oh, they're already working with Vanessa. They were all over it. I was like, ah, cause they were one of the groups that was asking like, Hey, what are you doing for Charlotte? I'm like, we're not, they've got somebody that they've hired, which is what you're supposed to do as a business owner. Yeah. And so, so just as at a high level, so you're obviously in the Billings Club. So right. you can go in with your professional camera. You take those pictures, whatever, you sort them out, and then you do postings over time. Um, if someone is not in that, like Charlotte, as an example, right. you will guide them on like what types of Absolutely. pictures to take, like how to do it, like kind of give them some guidance on what kind of content to produce. Yes. They then drop it into, say, a Google Drive folder yep. or what have you. You'll take that and then you'll do their postings for them and you'll do all the geotagging and the hashtags and stuff specific yes. to their location. Is that correct? Yep. Yep. And then Very if they cool. have something specific that they want me to put in a caption, they want to talk about something specific or a local member um, social, they just let me know in an email what they want me to say. Otherwise, I make the caption myself. Right. Um, and and then in the Google Drive, I just go through and I find what I want to post for that day or I batch for a week and I just get creating. And that's, I think, another thing um, that ties into my business background is there's an opportunity cost, right? You could create all of your own content and do that, but is it worth your time to try and figure out the algorithm that's changing every week and trying to build your following, or do you want to hire that out and have somebody else who knows and does that for their own business and they can do it, you know, much easier than you could do yourself. And then you then free up your time to do something that you right. excel at. Yeah, so. because it is, it, it's an art, like a dark art really, because it's always changing. It's always a little bit different. And so I think, I mean, obviously we see the benefit of it and we'll get into like what the, what the benefits are, right? Like what we really see the benefits are, but it is clearly different. Like, again, I noticed immediately when you started posting on Charlotte's behalf and it's not that they do a poor job of it, but it's a distinct difference. Now, when you look at that as really your billboard, if you will, right? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the benefits of posting more relevant social media, whether it's the tagging or whatnot. So what do you see as maybe some of the benefits that um, Billings has had thus far or just benefits overall, maybe either or both, whatever, whatever you want to speak about from posting really good organic, again, because this is not paid, right? Because we have a whole right. separate vendor suite for like direct response paid, like during a pre-sale, great. But organic posting, what would you see are the benefits of that if you had to describe them to someone? You want to build your following with your ideal client. So if you're showing up consistently and producing quality content that either helps somebody, entertains somebody, you know, you're teaching or you're entertaining. If you're not doing those things, then they're just going to scroll right on by. And also when a local place, say I share a reel with Linda, I work out with Linda and I love her. So I tag her on the post. Linda shares it. Linda's friends see it. And they're like, oh, hey, look at her. She's working her butt off. And this looks like a fun place to be. Okay, maybe I'll try it out. So you're growing your following of people who are actually wanting to go there. Because you could have 100,000 followers. But if they're not the people that want to buy into your brand, they're useless. So I'd rather have 500 great followers than 100,000 
whatevers because your yeah. content won't get pushed out if they're not engaging with you. So if you post organically, show up as yourself to your ideal client, that's how you build your following. Especially for a local brick and mortar facility. So I know Billings has a, a bigger geographic drawing because it's a bit of a smaller market. But if you look at most of our markets, you know, we're in these busy, crowded suburbs and we're not drawing for more than like one and a half to two miles. So you really want a very strong local presence. And that means showing people in your club that probably also live in that radius. Right. And like you said, they have friends and family. I think one thing that gets discounted, first of all, what you said, like it's a real billboard, like anybody in this day and age, they're either going to go to your Facebook page or your Instagram page. And they're going to look at like, let me see if I can see the personality or the culture of this club. They're always going to do that. And I think when we think about like paid social media advertising, which a lot of our clubs do, Mm -hmm. you're going to get a lot more mileage out of your paid advertising if you have really good organic content. I think people don't understand that. They're like, oh, no, it's two separate things. I'm like, but it's not. Because a lot of times before people respond to your direct ad, they're going to click over and start clicking around, Mm -hmm. checking out who you are. And it's important that who you are is well represented. And if you have crummy photos or you're not posting at all, or it's not really good content, it's going to be hard to show fully your personality. So you're going to really get a lot more bang for your buck on your advertising dollar digitally. If you have a really good social media presence, would you agree? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. hundred percent. And I know that you said when you started working from the time you started working with Billings till now, there's this term engagement, right? And their engagement's up like 20 something percent. Is that correct? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And that's hard to measure out. You know, when you talk to people, sometimes if they're not familiar with social media, it's like, what does that even mean? Like what's engagement? Because they're used to thinking of uh, social media as like paid advertising where like, okay, I got a, you know, I got 500 leads and we closed 15% of those. That's like pre-sale metrics. That's an example. It's like, okay, great. But engagement is a different animal. And it's, I think about that as like what we call the 20 mile march. It's like, okay, you're open now right? You're starting to really, you know, you're open six months now. You've kind of the dust has settled from your pre-sale. You're kind of finding the people that are going to stick with you a long time. One thing that's great about Alloy is our retention is really good. So it's different than other fitness brands where people just hop around, they find a home there and they love it and they stay. And that's great. And it's a small number of people, like 130 clients makes a really good business model for us. It's like, perfect. It takes a minute to find them. But once you do, there's not a lot of marketing activity to replace those people. So one again, great strategy would be not only are your own clients going to be more proud of where they work out if they're seeing themselves in these really cool social media posts and their family and everything. But also, again, that could be enough, just the organic posting Mm -hmm. to drive that two or three people per month through that engagement into the club. That is, again, it's not free because you have to post, but it's something you should be doing anyway, right? And so it's like, I think people discount that because it's not tangible, like that word engagement is not like, well, I paid this and I got that, right? And right. social media doesn't really always work that way. So you got to play the long game and yeah. continue to, con- and consistency is big, right? You got to consistently post good, relevant content. And if you do, yes. then you will start to see the benefits of it. It takes a minute, but if you're playing the long game and you're only replacing a few members a month, which is our model, it's a really, really viable strategy. So I think people discount that as well. And I'm glad to see that the Billings engagement went up. Obviously, we talked about this when, when we reached out to you. So just officially, for everyone that's listening that is an Alloy franchisee or in the system, Vanessa is now in our preferred vendor suite. And if you guys want to engage with her, um, you know, go in there and look. She'll, she'll give you what she charges and everything else. I think it's an absolute steal. You'd be crazy not to do it. I'm pretty sure that you couldn't pay anyone your team less to do it. And she's got our formula. She's a she's a client of an alloy. She understands the culture. She knows what we're trying to show. And she can do it for you, right? How many clubs do you think you can manage? Like, just out of curiosity, because like, you know, we're going to have a million. So like, right. I don't know if you can do all <laughs> of them. Do you, will you scale your team? Like, how, where do you see this new part of your business going long-term? Right. So... It's kind of nice because I have my templates built, right? I can create new ones. It's what I do, but I have my brand colors. I have my templates. So it's just a matter of me taking the content from each location and plugging it in. So it's doable. It's just my computer work. I could take on quite a bit. Um, And then I do have people that I can pull up on 
to be a part of my team, whether that's, you know, helping me come up with my hashtags or, you know, doing my content creation. That's another thing. It's like how I use my time, right? Because I'm also a full-time photographer and I'm a mom and I'm a volleyball coach and I work out four times a week. I worked out this morning. Um, And so, you know, you take a day and you can batch all your content. So if each site is being organized about putting stuff in the Google Drive for me, I can take a day and I can just feed stuff into each template, save it, batch it, and I can I can schedule when the posts go out as well. So I could send out a week's worth of posts in a, an hour. Or you know what I mean? Yeah, that's really cool. Well, and the good thing is that's what's great about having a franchise. That's one thing I like about it because like you're a client, so you understand the culture, you train there, so you fully get it. You're, you're with a good crew, so they actually exemplify what we'd hoped an alloy would be. Like we did interviews with some of the members, like, what do you love about alloy? And it's so heartening to hear them speak back to me what I hope we're putting into market. Right. Um, and so it's like, oh, I'm so glad that you're there because you're getting to experience it. Yes. And then you can just take that experience along with your creative juices, right? And you can kind of post the same. I mean, when you think about this, you know, like if you're an Alloy franchisee or maybe you're in a different fitness business because we have a reach certainly beyond our franchise and you're thinking, okay, but I wouldn't want the same post to happen that's happening in Billings, Montana and Charlotte. It's like, why? You're only trying to speak to your local market, right? Yeah. It doesn't need to be unique to you. You're not trying to impress people, you know, that, that you're that much different. You're all in the same brand. So each post can be scaled almost to every location. Because you're only speaking to their local market or people that are interested in coming into their gym. Is that correct? Yes. The only people that are following alloys in different locations are the alloys, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're already owners anyway. So it's like, so that doesn't matter. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, To the consumer, to the person that matters with the content, it can be the same sort of, I'm using the word template, I'm air quoting for those of you who aren't watching. Right. It could be the same template. Again, the hashtags are going to be different because they're geotagged and all that stuff. But it, the content is good and it scales across all the locations and it's featuring your local members, but it can be the same overall template, right? Yes. Yeah. And yeah. then it's really important too, um, even with my photography business, I know the way social media is basically Instagram now is searchable. So there's different ways people are going to hop on to Instagram and they're going to search personal training facility in Billings. So I know how to put different things into play to where you pop up when somebody searches that field. It goes for photography. It goes for any business. So yeah, I mean, it's basically like what you would do on your website, like SEO, but for social media, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. hundred percent. Love it. Love it. Well, listen, it's awesome. I think you do a great job of it. Um, Obviously, if anyone's listening and they're with Alloy, uh, Vanessa's in our vendor suite. So look her up. All our contact information's in there. She has a very scalable model, as you've heard, and uh, she does a great job. As a matter of fact, I don't know why we haven't done this, but in our corporate location, I think I pinged you on this. Like, why are we not doing that? I think it's just because we got started, but we'll probably add you to our corporate location as well and have you do it for us. Why not? Awesome. Um, Yeah. So... We'll leave it at that. I mean, listen, I think it's it's easy to understand. I think you did a good job succinctly explaining like what the benefits are. Um, we're really thankful to have you. I don't I don't know any other franchises that have this. They say they might do it on your behalf, but it's different, right? It's not as good right. as what you're doing. And sometimes outsourcing this to a third party, it just works much better. And in this case, for sure. Let's leave it at this. If you had one thing to share regarding like social media posting, I know it's a loaded question because there's a million things to share. But if you had one thing to share about social media posting with anyone listening, what would it be? Honestly, you want good organic content. You want to show up consistently and you want to speak to your ideal client. So that's kind of more than one thing, but it all goes together. So show up, (laughs) speak to your ideal client, be consistent and teach Uh, them. You want to teach them. You want to make them feel like I love that. I think of all things today, Vanessa, that's what I got. So you're not entertaining someone or teaching them something you're just blasting into deep space and people are going to scroll right by you. Right. And there's a lot of noise, let's face it. And your stuff definitely sticks out. So you're doing a great job. Well, listen, appreciate you. I hope our listeners got something out of it. If you're with Alloy, you're welcome because here's someone that you can add to your vendor suite who can do your posting for you. You just have to take your own picture. She'll guide you on how to do it. And look, um, thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me.